Man, YouTube, Rumble, TikTok, what it do, man? Steph, back with another video, man. I'm back with another video. And I just finished getting my hair braided. I'm not going to show it off just yet. It's already wrapped in the dewy. I already got the minoxidil on it and, you know, got the chemicals and all that stuff. But, um, you know, I, I'm going to be honest with you dudes, man. This past, like, two weeks, man, I was just thinking negatively, man. Meanwhile, amazing things were happening to me. Like, you know, the usual photo shoots, um, the usual getting accepted in the magazines. I only like to post my wins because that's what I like to focus on. But on the inside, I was just thinking a lot of negative things, man people who did you who did me wrong uh i'm gonna say it like this too um, women did me wrong stupid stuff my dad did to me in the past um people making fun of me man but i had to learn to let it go you know dead all of it man and i was thinking of this one line drake was saying in um you only live twice in the uh, certified lover boy album, man. He said I had to debt a lot of things just to live like this. And and that's true, man. You know, I, I learned to do that, but it's always going to be in the back of your skull, man. Because that's just how the human brain is, man. And you're going to think about it more and more. But at the same time... I always learn to use it as fuel, right? To really just keep going, man. And just, you know, don't let it affect you to the point where you just doing the dumb, goofy stuff, right? You doing, you, you partying too much. You're drinking it to, to drown out the noise and all that stuff instead of using it as fuel and motivation, man. And sometimes you're going to have those days where you're just sitting around thinking about it and you're just saying to yourself, what am I doing, bro? I need to be doing something. But it just happens, right? And another thing, actually, when I um, took my braids out and stuff, man, I... I got my fro like crazy long. I got hair crazy long. I'm able to cover my my forehead and stuff like that. This is like things to me, things like this for me. And I really looked at myself and I'm just like, dang, man. At my age, I'm really looking amazing, man, because I'm always wanting to improve myself right and i was thinking about it and i had to tell myself bro you gotta debt it all bro you gotta real you gotta leave it alone bro you gotta learn to really not let that affect you and find peace and and i do find peace every time like every time when like i think like this it's just in two weeks it happens and then it goes away and i'm like back to normal man i don't know how why my brain is like that man it just happens but the point i'm trying to say is bro you gotta learn to like let it go man you gotta learn to accept the fact that people are bogus out here people are just grimy out here right people are always gonna attempt to hurt you Right, whether it's friends, families, uh, even your girl, bro. Right, even roommates or whatever, bro. But you gotta learn to really just leave that stuff alone and just dead it all. And as um, I'm chilling in my parking lot, about to start working about an hour. As I'm like looking, I'm looking at beautiful California. The lights, I'm just like, dang, bro. Like, I really told myself this years ago as a young man, like, I was going to move out here, right? 
you know, making it big, man. And and I was having a crazy conversation with my manager too, as well, man. And honestly, with this uh, with this first job I got, um, I had some really great news. I'm not gonna share that, but um, it's just like no matter how crazy negatively I think, man, it's just some good always happens to me. I I, I may be God's favorite. Right? I may be God's favorite. Whatever. But I got this far because everything and everybody who done me wrong, man, it's I I just found it in me to like leave it alone. Walk away. Right? Block that person. You know, no matter how hard they try to hurt me. It's just I just found a way to leave it alone. I don't know why my brain is like that. Maybe it's because I'm just a forgiving person or I'm just soft hearted or whatever. But I really just left it be. And like I said, bro, like it's going to pop up in my head. But as time goes on, I've learned to find a way to not to like dead it quickly if you know what I'm saying I learned a way how to not think about it so much because there were times where I'd be just be angry about something and it just make no sense and I'm like why is this affecting me for a long period of time but after a while like I'm always battling with my brain and I just learned to be like, nah, this is not what it is, man. And as as I keep going and as I keep succeeding, I'm going to just continue to do that. That's why I don't drink. That's why I don't, you know, uh, do the pills and all that stuff. I don't go to the club because I'm always figuring out how to make myself better. And I know it's kind of corny for a lot of people. A lot of people love to go to the club, even women. They let they don't guys like me, right? When a guy like me reads a book, meditates, focus on the bag, to a woman it's corny. Because they like a dude who's at the club, but they want a man who get money as well. Right? Like typical love and hip hop chick. Like this one girl, um, at the spot, I get my hair braided. Talking about the club, watching episodes of Love and Hip Hop, man. And I wasn't judging her. I was just like, that's cool. you one of those. But I don't focus on that. I don't focus on chicks that want to party, put dolls and makeup on, and, you know, doing all that for attention just for instagram likes and to look good for their home girls or whatever or to find like that get money dude this i don't i don't do that so automatically i'm done for but i don't focus on that because it doesn't bother me so it's like those type of chicks can go and i know it affects certain guys but at the same time bro it should not affect you you should be learning like you know what if she a party girl she want to go out have fun let her go bro let her enjoy, let her go for the attention that she wants because over time bro it, it's gonna catch up with her because a lot of girls want to play in the streets but they don't understand what it's like to be in the streets they like to dibble dabble in it and it's like you can do that go ahead See, I know what it's like to be in them streets. And it's real dark. But at the same time, bro, I know how to maneuver and get out of it. And I and I always use my vision to do that. Right? If I didn't do that, I'd be still thinking about garbage crap in the past. I'd be thinking about nonsense. I'd be thinking about people who did me wrong. Meanwhile, they enjoying their life and doing whatever they don't care women don't care like I, I tell guys all the time don't expect your ex to apologize for her actions because women don't will not ever do that they always find a way to flip it on you 
and make it seem like it's your fault. But meanwhile, you ain't do nothing wrong. It's just how women are, for bros. Right? That's why I say women can get away with lying, manipulation, and all that stuff, bro. I always tell guys to do your best and not think about it because you're always going to run into women who do that. Same way with people who, your, your best friends who do you wrong. They're going to be like, well, I don't know, bro. We, we could be friends or you can't, we can let it go. It's, it's a manipulation. See, when your friends do you wrong or guys who do you wrong, man, they always try to figure out a way. Oh, it's always your fault. It's always your fault. You know, instead of admitting wrong, instead of saying, you know what, bro, I was wrong and I'm sorry. And if they do, it's it's not genuine. And you got to learn to let them go and say, you know what, I can't mess with that person no more. I can't F with that person no more. Same way with these women, man. You can't, you, you cannot be cool with that person because it's in her DNA to act like this. What do, what do I mean? Lie, play games, do things, get whatever she wants. And if you allow that to affect you over and over again, bro, you're going to have a hard time with life. That's why I say the cut them off thing always works. Don't go back to them. Don't give them no second chances. For what? They know what they did, but you don't have to put up with it. And when I was looking at myself in the mirror, man, and, you know, watching who I'm becoming, man, it's like, it's an amazing thing. It's a, it's amazing, man. You know, it's a lot of pain, you know, it's a lot of, it's a lot of hurt, but I'm doing it and I'm not willing to quit. I'm doing it and I'm going to keep going, man, because Things, horrible people don't matter. And there's going to be times where I'm going to think about it, bro. I'm human. But it's how it is, bro. It's just it's just how it is, how stupid people are. You got to just accept it, man. Right? Like, man, this is going to be a long video. I, I thought it was going to be eight minutes, man. Like, uh, Ray... He talked about him going back to Taiwan, you know, the famous streamer. He said his friends are different. They don't talk. It's just things are not the same since he blew up. And I said, when you go up in life, your friends are going to look at you different. Your enemies are going to hate you even more. And that's just something you got to accept because you was willing to be yourself. You didn't follow their way. You went your own way. And when you go your own way... A lot of people go, like, they don't like that because a lot of people want to fit in the box. But when you're something different, you see something different for yourself, and you tried, whether you made it or not, man, you're doing it because a lot of people are afraid to try and do different things. And you got to learn to be like, you know what, I'm going to cut that person off, man, because it's not worth it. A lot of people, bro, you got to cut off. You you love that girl, but you got to cut her off. You cool with this dude for a long period of time, but he's he is really steady trying to diminish you, trying to make you not go here. He's just trying to always trying to take you down. And it's like, you know what? You got to learn to leave that alone. That's what I did. Back in Long Island, New York, a lot of people I wasn't cool with. I, I just left deuces. That's it. I don't care about them. They don't matter. It won't ever matter. Because the money, the chicken bag is important. Changing your life. A lot of you guys right now, y'all want to get your mamas right. You want to do all these wonderful things, but you cannot because you too worried about your friends. You worried about this woman who don't care about you, bro. And you're doing nothing but wasting time. I'm out, man.